Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. If you guys watched the last video, we were down in Hilton Head and we went um, inshore fishing. Caught a few fish and had a good time. We're going to play some clips from that video here in a second. Some of the highlights of the fish we caught and kept. So anyways, this video is going to be about the homemade fish tacos that we made that's a grilled fish taco recipe we kind of we were on vacation so we kind of skipped a few steps of making homemade guac or homemade pico and stuff like that so we kind of did it the cheap way but anyways this is the gist of how we did it you guys can make these other things homemade by looking up how to make homemade pico or how to make homemade guac however you guys want but anyways let's hop into today's video then i just turned around and i was like yay that's a bad fish Looks like are those in season? Nice tread. You know what, man? That's awesome. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice fish. Keep going. Oh, the red fish. Oh, that feels like a bigger, bigger fish. That may be what I was doing wrong is because I had it down. That feels, yeah, that definitely feels like a better fish. Do you really? I can't get both. Wouldn't it be funny if we did have each other's lines? That thing is... Whatever it is, it's big. It's a drum. Drum always fights super hard. There we go. Huh. Dang. Geez, Steven. You're just killing those trout. Alright y'all, we uh, went fishing today out out here in Hilton Head Island. We have right here, we have uh, sea trout and we have redfish. The guy on the boat went ahead and we uh, filleted it all. We got it prepped, ready, rinsed. Got it on the plate. We got this pan right here. We're going to use it tonight. We're going to go down to the grill outside. We are going to put a, a little bit of this canola oil in the pan, just a little bit, because we're going to try to make a homemade blackening, uh, blackened fish, shall we say. Um, We've never done it before, so we're just using Lowry's seasoned salt and pepper and salt. We have, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna put a little bit of oil in here. We're gonna put the fish in here, season it, sear it on both sides in the oil, get it up just a temp, and then pull it off. So it shouldn't take off uh, too, too long. Once we get it in here, we're gonna let it uh, sit for a minute while we prep everything else. We gotta put, uh, I won't lie, I went a little cheap today. When I got the pre-done potatoes because, I mean, we're on vacation. Who likes to cook on vacation? I know nobody else here, right? We're going ahead and making cookies over here for dessert. Cake cookies. Highly recommend them. But right here we got these Herbed Province potatoes, $2.99. Kroger's, got to get them. Five and, a half, or five and a half minutes in the oven, and they're good to go. So you can't beat that. But when we get back in here, uh, we'll talk some more on how we're going to plate it up with our tortillas, pico, fresh avocado, some lemon juice and some extra season, and also for Christian's girlfriend that you have seen multiple times, she don't do anything cool. So we got her a plain chicken breast that we're gonna put the most basic seasoning possible, and we're gonna char that baby up for her and uh, pray that she likes it. So that was All right, so we are heading down to the grill right now. You guys are gonna see primarily Steven because he's the one that's a cook here at uh, the local um, the local, the local uh, <laughs> retirement home where we live. So <laughs> he's cooking today. Um, yeah, you'll see how he is here soon. So anyways, we are walking down to the grill. Gonna get this done before it gets, uh, or starts raining because it just popped up on Cass's phone saying it was supposed to start raining. So let's get cooking. Alrighty, um, so we cleaned the grill, we got it prepped. We got Cass's chicken going because it's a pretty big chicken breast. We know that's gonna take the longest. We just put the pan on here. We're gonna let it get hot. We're gonna put some oil in there, just a little bit, not a lot, just enough for not, we don't want the fish submerged because if we submerge it, it's almost going to be deep fried and we don't want that. We want it blackened, so we want it seared on both sides and give it the chance. It's only be side instead of all. So we're going to get this in here. We're going to let the oil get uh, up to temp and then we're going to season the fish as soon as I get all this done. 
Put a little bit of salt and pepper on here. Everybody likes pepper. We like it spicy. <clears throat> a little bit blew up in my eyeball. It's windy out here today, guys. Okay, salt's coming out. Put a little bit, because that seasoning salt's going to be pretty strong. And then just a little bit. I'll have to do it this way so you guys can see. Just a little bit. Then we're going to flip it. A little bit more Lowry. Can't go wrong with Lowry. Lowry's good on everything. A lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. That's what gives it that black look. Keep in mind, this is a uh, backyard's blackened fish with a... Uh, we got our red fish on the right side here and our sea bass over here that we fresh caught today. Sea Highly recommend that. And, sea uh, trout, not sea bass. Oh, uh, sorry. Sea trout. Caught some and uh, who was our charter we went through? We went we went through payback fishing charter with Jake, Captain Jake. So yeah. uh, we had we did catch a drum or sea bass, whatever you want to call it. Drums. But drum, yeah. and we had that earlier for lunch. So Yeah, I highly recommend his chartering company. We've been doing it for a long time. Always catch fish, always have a good time. So when you come to Hilton Head, be sure to look him up. Uh, always a good time, and uh, you won't go wrong, I promise you that. All right, guys, we ended up cutting Cass's chicken breast in half. Um, it was way too thick and not cooking fast enough for what. We got the oil up to temp. Uh, I'm guessing it's around 300 degrees when I have an actual temp with the grill sitting about 300, and it's looking really good. So we're about to set all these fish in there together in a straight line. We're going to let them... Uh, do the little thing for a couple minutes, maybe maybe two minutes, see what it is, and then flip them real fast. That's a high temp. We don't want to overcook fish. We want to keep it flaky. We want to keep it moist. And uh, with doing it that way and that way and letting it rest for a second, it should be perfect. So first we're going to do the sea bass, or the sea trout, so I say. Sorry. We're going to do this one first, and then we'll do the other one, because that's a lot of fish. That is. We're already filling a couple drops of rain. So we're going to go ahead and throw this other fish on there and uh, get it going. That way we can get this stuff done and get it out there before we get our butts wet. Doing perfect. That looks really good. Flake apart. Oh, look at that. I already yeah, pulled apart. So we're going to go ahead and pull this trout off, get it out of the picture before it overcooks. We like it. We want to keep it, you know, somewhat flaky and moist. We don't want to overcook it. Man, that looks so good. So good. Look at that. Already falling apart out in the grease. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slide that over. Get her going. Grease has already kind of cooled down already. So we're going to go ahead and flip these and shut the lid one minute. Get that grease back up to temp. Keep in mind, guys, we're staying in a condo out here. So we're using what we got. So we're using a pancake flipper. Can't beat it. But it's working pretty good for what we need. Cassis fish are about done, or uh, chicken's pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and shut that, give it a couple seconds, and uh, pull it all off and get it ready to prep some tacos. It's not black and what we want it, but it's definitely a fresh fish. All right, guys. As you can see there, we got our avocado. Let me grab a bowl here. Um, so, me not knowing, I'm a, I like guacamole. Well, I didn't get all the stuff to make guacamole. So, I am going to, uh, I got a really soft one instead of a more plump one to be able to slice and put slices on top of the fresh fish. So I got a little more pastier one. So I went ahead and cut it. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to first take this big old seat out of here. Cass is enjoying her chicken behind us. I'm gonna take a spoon. Keep in mind, I wash my hands. My hands are clean. I'm gonna spoon it out, nice and good. It's actually really nice avocado. So I'm gonna do that. I should have spooned it into the bowl, but you know, we like making it difficult around here. And you're just gonna keep smushing it. So I went ahead and cut the lemon. This lemon, we're gonna put just a tiny squeeze on each taco when we get there. 
So we got there. We're gonna put a little bit of pico in here. Fresh pico, for, you know, from Kroger. So it's not too fresh. <laughs> fresh as it gets around here on vacation. When with all the time we got, um, Go grab a cookie. found the seasoning. It's in my pocket. <laughs> We're good in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Lowry. I use I usually like doing garlic salt. That's the tip. Garlic, garlic. If you got it, don't always have it. Uh, and salt and pepper, of course. But you know we didn't get that. So a little bit of uh, Lowry just to give it a little pizzazz. Tiny bit of salt because that's already salty enough. We don't want a lot. This is a tiny bowl. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop this out again. Where I cut myself and that didn't work that well. And we're gonna put pepper. I like pepper in mine a lot. But I won't make it too strong since in case they want some on their tacos. I don't know about y'all, but with your guacamole, I put tomatoes in it too. Makes it go a little farther. You don't have to put as many avocados. Makes it a little cheaper and a um, little more filling, as you would say. Mix that in there, which is really good. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side. Keep in mind you smash it with a fork, not a spoon, in the heat of the moment. That's what we can write. So when you go there, we'll get a plate out. Have to wash them because you know you can't trust nobody around in these COVID days. We're gonna pull our fish out. This is what our fish looks like now. Now if we had a flat top, we would actually sear it a lot more, give it the more black end look, but once again, vacation, don't have all those luxuries. So we just did it in the plain grease, got it looking that good. We got our redfish over here and our sea trout over there. And uh, so we're gonna come here. We're gonna take one. These are pretty big. I wouldn't make a fish taco this big. I would actually prefer smaller ones if I was doing them. So I'm going to rip it in half. Not the prettiest tear, but it's something. All right, and we're gonna tear it this way. Like little quesadilla roll ups. So, got them in fours. We got our fish, and we got one more fork. Tear this fish apart in a knife. I'm gonna eat mine with uh, red fish and a little bit of it, and a little bit of sea trout. Look at that, just cutting like butter. Nothing you can do. Look at that. Awesome. Sorry, we got Creepy Joe in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All fun and jokes. So we start sniffing you, but that's another ball game. <laughs> so, not a lot of fish. You can load them up however much you want. Um, me, personally, I don't ever like to put a lot. So I'm just going to do a little roll up. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of this. I'm not going to put pico since I put pico inside my guac. Just put a little splash of that on there. Put a little splash of lemon juice on there. Not a lot. Ooh, that was a lot. I mean, lemonade on my taco, for sure. But it's fine, it's fine. And uh, not the prettiest, but if we had more round tortillas instead of those, um, they would look a lot prettier, they'd be more even. But in this case, we don't have them, so. But then that's all you're gonna do, roll it up, and uh, do whatever you wanna do to look pretty. Almost like a miniature burrito, as you would say. Oh, and you gotta finish it off with a cookie. Brought his homemade cake and chocolate chip cookies. And uh, overall, it's a good, oh, cannot forget the most important part. We got the taters. They're done. Five and a half minutes. Mix that seasoning on there. Pull that stuff off there. And the thing smell delicious. Delicious. Okay. We're going to use the same fork from the fish because why not? We're going to put a splash of those on there. Man, they look so good for $3. $3. Bam, they cut like butter. Look at that. Spectacular. Cut like butter. And once again, got your uh, meal all ready to go. Miniature fish tacos, potatoes, and Rhonda's famous cake chocolate chip cookies. I can eat that whole plate first, bro. That's awesome. Let's try the potatoes. Awesome. I would try the cookie, but we're not going to mix that just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> Chocolate and fish, don't recommend it together. 
So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a great day making this video. I know I'm not Christian. I don't sound like Christian or look like Christian. But um, thanks for watching. I'm glad he let me on the show or on his channel, shall I say. Um, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll have a lot more uh, fishing videos, a lot more uh, hunting videos in the uh, future. Uh, we're definitely going to get out shed hunting in a week and uh, hopefully get on some uh, nice giants, get, on the, get some hit listers for next year. And... Uh, Hopefully get some wildlife uh, cooking videos going too. So stay tuned, y'all. The what? You want to make the outro then? What's the outro? Uh, just oh, oh thanks, for, thanks for watching our video. Is that it? Something like that, yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. guys it's Christian. <laughs> hey, guys. <it's> uh, <laughs> all three of my subscribers, um, please yeah, stay tuned. Sniff Steven now. Yeah, yeah. Creepy Joe's going to come in the background. Uh, <laughs> Mmm, that fish smelled good. Gotta <laughs> 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 love it. But, uh... You're